Hello everyone, in this video we're going to find the sum of this infinite series. Let's get started. To find the sum of this series, let us first write it in the following form. And then now, let us derive a formula in finding the sum of the series x plus 1 third x cubed plus 1 over 5 x raised to 5 1 over 7 x raised to 7 plus and so on. So we first start with the geometric series. 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus and so on, which is equal to the first term, which is equal to 1 over 1 minus the common ratio. And the common ratio here is negative x. And uh, this equation is valid when the absolute value of the common ratio, so absolute value of negative x, which is equal to absolute value of x, is less than 1. Now we can do integration here term by term, so we can integrate both sides of this equation, and we'll get the following. So antiderivative of 1 is x, antiderivative of x is x squared over 2, and so on. And antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus x is ln of absolute value of 1 plus x. But of course, because absolute value of x is less than 1, we may ignore the absolute value symbols. And don't forget to add the constant of integration in one side of our equation. Note that this equation here is also valid within the radius of convergence of the previous equation. So this is also valid for absolute value of x less than 1. And to find the value of this constant c here, we can set the value of x to be equal to 0. And that will give us c equal to 0. So if you plug in 0 here, 0, 0, 0, and so on, so series of zeros, and then ln of 1 plus 0, that is ln of 1, which is equal to 0. So therefore, c is equal to 0, and we obtain the following equation. So let's name this equation, equation 1. And if we replace the x here by negative x, we'll get the following equation. Negative x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 4 minus and so on is equal to ln of 1 minus x. And this is valid again for absolute value of negative x less than 1. That is the same thing as absolute value of x less than 1. So let's name this new equation here, equation 2. Now, if we're going to subtract these two equations here, 1 minus 2 will be able to get rid of this even powers of x here which gives us the following equation. So you have 2x plus 2x cubed over 3 plus 2x raised to 5 over 5 plus and so on equal to this difference. And dividing both sides of this equation by 2, we'll get the following. And of course, using property of ln, this difference of ln is just equal to the ln of this quotient. And this new equation here is, of course, valid for absolute value of x less than 1. Now we're ready to find the sum of this series. So using this formula that we have just derived, then we'll be able to get the sum of this series, which is equal to 1 half ln of 1 plus x, but our x is 1 over e. So this is x plus 1 third x cubed plus 1 over 5 x raised to 5 plus 1 over 7 x raised to 7 plus n so on. So we'll get here 1 plus x or 1 plus 1 over e over 1 minus x or 1 minus 1 over e. And we can simplify this complex fraction here by multiplying e to the numerator and denominator. And we'll get the sum which is equal to 1 half ln of this uh, quotient. So this is the exact sum of this uh, series. And we may use a calculator to approximate the value of this uh, sum here. And we'll get approximately equal to 0 0.386. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!